they achieve it. Respected Reverend Brother Principal, other brothers, teachers, and my dear fellow Montfortians, wish you all a wonderful morning. We, the Technocrats of Class 11A1, are delighted to present this morning prayer service. There can be no better means to talk to our Almighty than a prayer. Prayer, Bible reading, and a prayer song follows. Please join your hands and bow your head for prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you and praise you for giving us this wonderful day. Especially pray for the students of the 10, 11, and 12 for their upcoming examination. For all this, we ask in your most holy name. Amen. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your stuff, they comfort me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks.
In October 1991, there was this man by name Reed Hastings. He had co-founded Pure Software along with his friends Mark Fox and Raymond Fenn. In August 1997, Pure Software was acquired by the Radcliffe Software for $750 million. And within five years, he was a millionaire. Now, who exactly was this Reed Hastings? What was his dream? What did he believe? What did he achieve? Hey Mark, I am hearing a lot of good reviews about the movie Apollo 13. But, I am interested in theaters. I am going to head to the blockbuster store to rent it. Yes, I had good reviews too. We'll watch it together when we are finished. Reed gets bored and heads out to rent Apollo 13 from the blockbuster store. Welcome sir, which movie do you prefer? I would like to take the Apollo 13. Sure sir. May I have your Thank you sir. They watch the movie together. Six weeks later, the movie was really good, wasn't it? Yes, we should have watched it later. Hey Reed, did you return the day back to the store? Oh my god, I was really I caught up with some work. I totally forgot about it. You better go read it right away. Anyways. Sir, you are six weeks late. You need to pay about forty dollars per Forty dollars? It's a huge amount. No, I can't help you, sir. Anyway. Reed was too embarrassed to tell his wife about this incident. Hey, why did you go? I just went to meet my friend. Would you like to have something? Thanks. But this incident was echoing in his mind more than often. He did not like something with the practice of DVD rentals. It's time. One fine morning at the gym. Hey Ma, did you notice something? What? The payment model of a gym is bad compared to the cash and system. One can exercise as much as they want by paying the monthly membership fee. That's really great idea. I was inspired by Amazon selling idiots and selling books online. And I want to do something. That's great. Let's do it together. He applied the same concept for renting cassettes where one could pay a monthly membership fee and rent as many as cassette the customer wants. Harry. Harry, but I think you might have a problem selling the adjectives. Call the delegate. Yes, that's true. We'll try getting it to ourselves and let's check it safely. Great.
Ferry, the Korean variety. Read receive the DVD safely without any damage. On August 29, 1997, they started their company with 30 employees and 925 DVDs. Even though their business flourished with many subscribers, they were running on a loss. So, they approached Blockbuster for a solution whether they would provide DVDs. Yes, how can I help you? We have an appointment to meet your CEO. Please wait and check with him. Sir, Mr. Reed and Mark are waiting for you. Ask them to come. You may go in. Thank you. So, a business proposal. What is it about? It is about DVD rental service, sir. Can you please provide a DVD for our company? It will never work. Blockbuster denied the offer. They were not ready to adapt to the growing technology. They somehow managed to compensate the loss and kept the company up and running. In 2005, they had 35,000 movies and were shipping 1 million DVDs. It was a time the internet was growing. So, Reed thought of starting an online streaming service where one didn't have to wait for the mail. But internet was too slow for online streaming. The idea wasn't working. It came into flotation as the internet started to grow. Any guesses which the streaming platform is? Well, it is Netflix. If you are ever caught on a situation like Reed, always remember, it is just a bad day. Not a bad one. Currently, Netflix has 197 million subscribers. Can you believe it was started out with a $40 late fee? Access is encourageable. We now invite Master Masters to impose and engrave our team with your hearts. So lend your ears and listen. Everybody will have a, have a motto in their life which they use every day. Motors are small statements which everybody uses for to express their principle, ideal, or goal. My motto is dream, believe, and achieve. Everybody will have a dream or goal in their life which they want to achieve. My goal is to dream in everything that I do in in hard work because hard work pays off. During my hard work, my dream will help me reach my ambition and succeed in it. When you have a dream or goal in life, you should believe in the dream and follow it. And not just believing in the dream will do it, because you also have to put hard work for your dream. There goes a saying, when a man does not work, he does not eat. The same way, when someone who does not put hard work for their dreams, will not succeed. So, dream, believe and achieve. Thank you. Thank you, Master Vasu. Anybody can have a dream. But what would it take of things are always bigger and better? Here are two thoughts to ponder upon. Believe in yourself and have faith in your abilities. Don't look at the clock. Do what it does. Keep going. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their things. There will be obstacles, there will be mistakes, but there will be hard work. All our dreams can come true when you have the courage to pursue it. Start where you are, use what you have and do what you can. There are few things in life which money cannot buy.
common sense. Trust. Patience. Integrity. Love. These are the few things which money cannot buy. Over to the teachers for the price distribution. Thank you. 